Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver now. Good morning, Big Square Road to Road.com. With your morning horn disease, your sip of chaga coffee. Oh, it is crazy out there right now. Um, silver's breaking through the technical, the quote technical barriers. Um, up almost a dollar today, twenty-one dollars and sixty-three cents. Again, it is a thousand times too low. If you have any, if you have any money left, buy silver today. If you have any gold, swap it for silver. Should be the most obvious thing you've ever done in your life. All right. So this is what the technical traders look at. Uh, usually, J.P. Morgan uses this stuff to psych out the tech traders. They'll, they'll like run over certain averages and then slam it. So they might slam it. I don't know. But right now, the tech traders are short as of yesterday, and now they have to go long. So this is where they get fleeced. Big jump right from the 50 and 100-day moving averages. Um, or the – yeah, 50 and 100-day moving average – just breached the 200-day moving average. So all tech, tech traders now need to go long. There'll be a, probably a little fight around here and then either get slammed down again once they go long or, poof, it's going to run to the skies. And who knows where that'll stop. Um, I do expect massive, massive election chaos. It's already started, but massive chaos. I'll get to that in a, se a second. But And what does that mean? Potential for... Uh, force majeure on the, the comics, which would be the greatest thing ever. Because once they stop silver trading for like a day or two, it will never open up again. These criminal traders will never, ever, ever open up again. Um, they've already gotten out of their short position. Now it's just these tech funds. And the question is, are they going to go short again? Who's going to short? As these tech funds rush to cover their shorts, who's going to sell them? Who's going to sell their silver? I don't know. We'll see if they try to continue the game. Uh, I think we're near the end. Uh, Ventress Gibson, Ventress Gibson of the U.S. Mint, should be held accountable for not not making Silver Eagles. And I am I'm calling for a complete 100% continued operation through November and December for the U.S. Mint. This is no time to take your annual December holiday of creating eagles. We are at the most critical time in our nation's history as far as our monetary situation. The U.S. Mint should not be closing. If you ever hear, if you hear they are closing for November, raise a stink. Raise a stink now. Screw it. Send all your, your questions to Ventress Gibson right here. Contact us at the U.S. Mint. Go to the U.S. Mint. All kinds of phone numbers. If you want, if you want, uh, let's see, a bullion program, 202-354-6829. Where's Ventress's, I don't know what Ventress's email is, but there's an address. Here's an address of where she, she's in Washington, D.C. Remember, all the, the good people are at the Mint sites where they're making coins. The bad people are at the administration offices in Walnut, in uh, uh, Washington, D.C. So it's U.S. Mint uh, headquarters, 801 9th Street, Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20220-0012. Absolutely 100% make yourself known to the U.S. Mint that you are not allowed to shut down. You are not allowed to, to close your offices in December and stop making silver eagles because you didn't make them all year. You made 30% of what your potential capacity is even before the big expansion that Ventress Gibson had talked about. Yes, she said they greatly expanded the Silver Eagle production capacity, and yet they've only made 33% of the coins they could make before the expansion. This is criminal. This is fraud. Do not let them close. Do not let them close in December. And here's the main culprit of the silver, silver manipulation for the past, well, shit, 15 years, J.P. Morgan Chase. I want to point something out, very important. Once J.P. Morgan Chase agreed to the spoofing, quote, spoofing problem and agreed to pay $920 million in uh, September of 2020, they booked a $1 billion gain in, in, at the end of that year. In 2020, they booked a $1 billion gain in gold and silver trades. $1 billion, most of it was silver. $1 billion gain, keep that in mind, because that means... 
they they structured some deal out of J.P. Morgan's creative finance department, Blythe Masters World. She wasn't there at the time. But they structured some deal where they leased the, the physical silver that they have to Bank of America. And then it, Bank of America does a deal on the back end to probably Warren Buffett. Jenny was coming up with also uh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk is not a dummy. Where do all the manufacturers get silver when silver goes to $1,000, dollars $3,000? You, you need to already lock in your deals. As a matter of fact, Elon Musk went to um, Glencore, the largest mining company in the world, and tried to secure a deal for uh, all kinds of metals. They didn't say silver, but of course it was silver as well. Now, Glencore is Mark Rich's old company that got split into Glencore and Trafigura. This is criminality beyond any measure. But keep an eye on J.P. Morgan. So J.P. Morgan got booted out of that part of the silver manipulation on the Comex for three years. This has a three-year deferred uh, prosecution agreement if they don't break the law, if J.P. Morgan doesn't break the law. Now it gets to, it, here's the deferred prosecution agreement. If you go down to the three years, uh, the time, where is it, where is it? Right about term of the agreement. The agreement is effective for a period beginning on the date of which the information is filed. That was the in September 2020. And ending three years from that date, the company and the related entities, however, agree that in the event of the fraud section and office uh, determine in their sole discretion that the company or related companies have knowingly violated any provision of this agreement or failed to completely perform or fulfill their obligations under this agreement, an extension or extensions of the term may be imposed by the fraud section of the office in their sole discretion for up to additional time period of one year without prejudice to the right of the fraud section. So did J.P. Morgan follow all these rules in the deferred prosecution agreement starting in 2020, ending in 2023? Absolutely not. They screwed up right away. J.P. Morgan admits to widespread record-keeping failures and agrees to pay another $125 million penalty to resolve SEC charges. This was talking about gold and silver, precious metals. It is insane what these assholes get away with. Now, J.P. Morgan is not out of the comics. They just are giving it they, – they work as a shell corporation – all these, uh, all their customers are doing all the fraud. So J.P. Morgan might have to wait another year into 2024 so that they can get back into the fraud game. Don't know what's going on with that. Anyway, silver will be long past J.P. Morgan by then. Hopefully, the the correct criminals will be going to jail, which means Jamie Dimon and Blythe Masters, the bosses of the traders that that did the uh, the criminal acts, and every single company that they they secretly worked with and we know who they are they've already pleaded guilty and paid fines but their bosses should be going to jail why does martha stewart go to jail right why does kim kardashian get hit with an sec fine for cryptos i mean why not somebody like the creator of tether and we all know who that is and why is tether even still around which i'll get to in a second all right anyway so get your silver I don't know if this is the end of manipulation. If it is, we won't know the price of silver when the, when the uh, comic shuts down. And lots of things pointing to that. The chaos is coming. Speaking of chaos, cryptos got slammed and then up and then down. It's all over the place. Crypt Remember, cryptos are the future, not the present. The cryptos are the future. You want to get your core position, just watch and wait. Because the big hammer hasn't come down yet. What is the big hammer? The big hammer is Gary Gensler getting all the power to shut down uh, Tether and all those associated with Tether that go to jail. That hammer's coming. That's always been the big hammer. Um, but they haven't pulled that trigger. I don't know what's going to happen to XRP. I hope XRP wins their case because cryptos are not securities. It should be obvious to everybody, even Gary Gensler by now, especially stuff like Veritasium, a software that... that facilitates peer-to-peer -peer transactions is not a security but hey place your bets right i am absolutely i did buy some more veritasium the other day i think we're getting closer and closer to the shutdown of the broader markets the the dow jones and the nasdaq 
and the comics and then the European markets. I think we're very close to the shutdown on there too because they are complete fraud. Everything is run off these computers and computer trading derivatives and that's a two plus quadrillion dollar market that won't survive. And when that closes down, they got to figure out something else to do. Reggie Middleton invented peer-to-peer -peer transactions. So you can go to, on, a, on a stock market and not have the middleman of J.P. Morgan or Virtu Financial, hint, hint, um, or your brokerage house and just have peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Brilliant invention that they shut down specifically because it would have taken, it would have gotten rid of all the criminals. And you, they don't want to do that. They want to crash the system first, then get rid of the criminals, but then you got to start a new system. That's why Reggie Middleton, that the Veritasium tokens, 98 million of them, are frozen. Out of 100 million tokens, 98 are frozen, and they were frozen by the SEC. They were not liquidated. They're just sitting there. And then last December, they approved the Reggie Middleton um, patent for peer-to-peer -peer transactions and cryptocurrencies. So all these DeFi companies, all the DeFi companies, I mean, and there's a lot of them, DAI, Uniswap, Avalanche, Wrap Bitcoin, Chainlink, Terra Classic, Ave, Tezos, Theta, Maker, Synthetic, PancakeSwap are going to have to come to Reggie to get approval. I would suggest going early, but uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? And they might not use Veritasium tokens in that instance. I mean, it's Reggie's patent. 100% Reggie's patent. He has no control over Veritasium tokens anymore. He has talked about giving a discount to the current Veritasium token holders on his using his software, which might be a great thing. Or he might get back his 98 million tokens, which I think would be the easiest thing for the, the government to do because they're going to come begging to Reggie to use his technology. Just like Cliff's data said. Anyway, lots of bullshit going on with uh, another big, really big exchange went down, FTX. Uh, Cryptos crashed, and then Binance said, oh, we'll buy them. Uh, probably, it was probably Binance who did it in the first place, or Gary Gensler, more likely that, uh, yeah, any of these exchanges, if the big money starts pulling out, it's over because they don't have the, the coins. So that's what happened uh, with these guys. FTX is now gone, and Binance will be taking them over and all their customers off. Binance is huge and basically run by the Chinese government. Moving on, uh, okay, to the election really quick. I don't know how much I can say about the election because of the, the programs, but definitely, definitely there's going to be chaos for months. No one's going to know who wins. Everybody's going to claim they won. Everybody's going to try to cheat. This is what they did in 2020. This is what they did in 2016. This is what they do every two years. Come on, people, wake up. Both sides don't want to fix the system. They could have fixed it in 2016. In August of 2016, the Postal Service came up with a cryptographic way to ensure fair and clean elections, and they did not implement it. Why? Because neither, the, the, nobody wanted it. Joe Biden didn't want it. Trump didn't want it. Nobody wanted it. They all thought they could rig better than the other guy. Our elections are ridiculous. Now, Dominion, Dominion voting machines broken in Jersey, reports of misread ballots in Arizona. This is what the Democrats want. They want a complete cluster because they don't want to know the truth. I think this is the end of the U.S. government. We won't be able to move forward after this. This will never be decided. I've been screaming. Neither side would accept it. Even though everybody knows that the Democrats are going to get crushed in this election, they're going to do everything they can to cause the chaos. And it might not even be, you know, stuffing ballot boxes this time. It might be throwing computer glitches, making the internet go out, steer a hurricane right towards the East Coast, especially Georgia. Hurricane Nicole. You want to see something cool? This is an app called Ventuski, V-E-N-T-U-S-K-I dot com. And it, uh, it's, a, it's a weather map thing. And you, you can press play. And this is where it is right now on Tuesday. And there it goes into uh, Nassau area on Wednesday. But uh, look at all the rain coming into Georgia. And Georgia's going to be the big mother. Look at all that rain just flowing right into Georgia because Georgia can't, they can't lose that state or they lose the Senate. So it, it looks like it's going to hit uh, right now from this. Watch, you can press the uh, hour by hour movements. 
right above Miami, which is kind of good for Miami, but horrible for uh, Port Lucie and Tampa. It comes right back and probably gets stronger. But look at all the rain going into Georgia. Georgia is going to get flooded. Why? Because that's where the important Senate race is happening. Also, Pennsylvania. See what, what, so let's see what happens to Pennsylvania. Look at Pennsylvania is right there just getting destroyed by this thing on Friday. Look at all that rain going in there. So we're going to see flooding all up and down the East Coast. The perfect excuse to, oh, we got to shut down the ballot boxes and we got we to gotta recount. Oh, this one got flooded. It's going to be bullshit. It's going to be a lie already. Uh, Pennsylvania, or, uh, Pennsylvania cities and Democrat volunteers rush to help voters replace flawed ballots. It's a cluster pluck already. And then Fetterman saying, oh, I'm going to make a dr- dramatic comeback overnight. Watch, he will. He'll cheat his ass off. They always do. And it's so ridiculous. This is the deep state guy. They have to have him win. Even though he can't speak anymore, they have to have him win. So what do you do in all this political chaos? Go buy yourself some silver. Get as much silver as you possibly can. Silver's going into the thousands of dollars. At one point, when it's freely traded on an exchange, it will trade one-to-one with gold. Gold will probably be 5000 You'll double your money triple your money in gold, silver will trade at 5000 as well. You do the math. Silver is gold on massive steroids, especially right now. Remember, silver's still trading at, what, uh, 20 40% of its all-time high from 1980. How much money has been spent since 1980? <laughs> but this goes back to the 1850s, and we've talked about that on the road to Ruta. Silver is where you want to be, physical only. No ETFs, no no mining companies. Mining companies, 100% nationalized, even by the United States, most likely. But definitely by Mexico, Peru, Bolivia, Russia, and China are gigantic silver makers. They, they just don't ship anything out anymore. They mine massive amounts of silver in Russia and China. They just don't ship it anymore. They import silver if they can get it. All right, that's what I got for you. It's getting crazy. Uh, I'll have an update probably later today. I, I'll be on with Jean Claude, Jean Claude tonight. Uh, he's doing a special on his channel, um, Beyond Mystic two or three or nine or whatever. Beyond Mystic. Um, also, um, yeah, I've got a few interviews coming up that'll be posted at the Road to Ruta website. Go to RoadToRuta.com. Put your name and email address in so you don't miss any of the updates. It's free. Go to RoadToRuta.com, name and email address, check out Secrets of the Fed Part 1 and Goldies Oldie to the Crypto, Golden Oldies to the Crypto Future Part 2. Um, this tells you everything you need to know about what's happening and why. We are at that point of chaos, so buckle down because this election thing is going to go on for months. If not, this might be the end of uh, the government, at least, which might be a good thing. Who knows? Again, if you want to subscribe to the really deep stuff, and get all the uh, behind-the-scenes information, including the Jenny Moonstone discussions, which I talk about all kinds of things. Um, go to RoadDuru.com. Click on subscribe today. And it's $2.99 for a year, and we'll send you the coolest silver coin ever made. This coin is going to pay for the subscription. No reason not to join or renew. Um, we will stop selling these coins when silver hits $30, because then it's off to the races. Um, not selling, but giving away these coins for free for each membership. All right? This is Bix. I'll talk to you later.